Fans playing their 33rd game of the season without Bonds. Padres over in the other dugout. Base is empty, no score in the third. Ray Sadler facing Noah Lowry. Sadler wins that one, gets his first major league hit. A good one. Home run. Daryl Ward batting to the Pirates down 2 1. Shall left. Moises Alou is there with a great diving catch. That's a top play nominee. Hustle back if you're the runner. Then after Jose Castillo, RBI single tie. Wigginton up with one on. Gives the Pirates the lead with a two run shot to center. Wigginton second of the year. The Buccos, another win by the Bay. Take this one 7 2. Going to go 7 0 facing Roy Oswalt. Top of the first, the Astros up 1-0. Willis facing Mike Lamb with one on, and Lamb goes away like one. Gets out of the inning, does Willis, allowing two hits and a run. Bottom of the second, same score, Oswald facing Mike Lowell with two outs. Rings him up, Oswald retiring the side. A nice little pitching matchup going here. Bottom third, Oswald facing Damian Easley. Well, it was. Easley, deep to center field. Two-run homer, Easley second of the year, makes it a 2-1 ball game. Top of the eighth, Willis pitching with two runners on. 107 pitches through seven and two thirds. Any gas left in the tank? No. Ask Mike Lamb. That was 94 miles per hour. Second pitch, took a little something off. 93. Third pitch, gassed him up at 95 to end the inning. So Willis still strong through eight frames. Top of the night, Todd Jones facing Craig Biggio. Biggio strikes out swinging to end the ball game. Willis pumped in the dugout as the Marlins win it two to one. Willis starting his season off seven and oh. White Sox double raise, Orlando Hernandez 4-0 all time at the drop, and in the fourth and a 1-1 game, Chris Singleton sees El Duque. Look at him, he's showing off all those natural hockey instincts he has and honed as a kid there in Cuba. We flash back to June of 99, we did a similar thing, showed his glove hand against Ray Ordonez. Just, yeah, there you go, man gotta do sometimes, that's what it is. Top five still 1-1. Juan Brazo, oh, that gets away. Pablo Azuna is able to score two on White Sox. Braston can't be happy with that. Next batter, Paul Canerco. Well, as bad as the wild pitch is, this is worse. He hit it. Drills it to the gap over and right. Timo Perez scores. Aaron Rowan will score. White Sox are going to win at 5 2, and they avoid the broom in Tampa. I actually seen Pete, I would. Yes. Close enough. It's in the area. All right, the Twins and the Orioles, Johan Santana, 14-0 in his last 15 road starts. He can deal. Santana rings up Melvin Moore. Miguel Tejada, go away. That's the fastball. Then Santana strikes out Moore once again. Eight strikeouts, all swinging. That's Brian Roberts there with a single up the middle off Santana. Jay Gibbons in, and the Orioles down 4-3. to three. Roberts 2-5 for five with an RBI. Santana here. He's wild, in the dirt. Roberts scores. That ties up the game at forces. Santana with the no decision. And then B.J. Surhoff in the bottom of the eighth unties the tie game with a single down the first baseline. The Orioles go on to win 7-4 to four again. Santana, the no decision. Carl Pavano, uh, not a strong start. Top one, two on for Richie Sexton. Big muscles there. Three run shot, it's three nothing. Two batters later, bring up Brett Boone. Got the man on him once again. Everybody just starts trotting around. Booney. You know what? Brett, Aaron, it just goes to left field out there apparently. Five nothing Mariners after a half inning. Bottom one, base is drug for Hideki Matsui. He likes to hit the doubles. Gap clears them all. Yanks down 5-3. They'd add two more. So 10 runs in the first. We're even at five. Go to the fourth. 6-6. Six, six. Raul Banez. That's upper deck. I don't care if it's a short porch out there. That's a long way. It's fourth of the year. 9-6. Pavano, 10 hits, 9 earned in four innings pitch. And there's Tino getting them back. His ninth, fifth homer in as many games. We're tied at nine. You get a curtain call for that. Giambi, move on down. Bottom five after Derek Jeter gave New York the lead. Man up for Gary Sheffield, and Sheffield adds the insurance. Two-run blast, his fifth. Yanks going to go on to win this thing 13-9. Like Tino, the Yanks on a run of five straight. Jeremy Sheff with who's on first. Script. The teams finish up three games set at the Fens. Manny Ramirez is bat. Johnny Damon on third. Damon extends his hit streak to 17 games, and Manny extends his arms and hits a home run. 398th of his career. Red Sox up 4-0. We go to the ninth. Red Sox up 4-1 with two outs. Keith Ginter singles off Keith. Well, everything starts with two. Scott Hatterberg, Marco Scudero scoring the Red Sox up 4-3. Still up one. Nothing hurt, though, right? Well, Keith Folt just gives up a big bang to Eric Burns. That's over the monster. 
Fogg leads the major leagues in home runs given up by a reliever with six. Burns, Burns. gets some love as his team's up 5-4. Get a haircut. Bottom nine. Octavio Dotel in for the save. Walks David Ortiz to lead off the inning. Kev Millar up next. We flash back to Tuesday. You recall Millar, right? Swing and a drive. Off Dotel, a two-run shot. And the Sox went home winners 3-2. Well, back to Wednesday. And Dotel going to get another shot of Millar digging in the box. Swing! And he hit it really hot. But, uh, well, there's Burns and left. That's just an out. One out. Next batter, though, Jason Verte. Always the one you're not looking for, huh? In the end, a deep right field. Down the line, towards the pole. At the corner for the second time in less than 24 hours. The Red Sox have a walk-off win. Veritek does it today. That's the captain just being the captain there. Sox win at 6-5, nine straight now over the A's. Mets and Cubs in Chicago. Mark Pryor lights out at home. A 1.35 earned run average in three home starts this season. Top five, two outs. Cubs leading at 3-2. to Well, that's why. Worked seven innings, two hits. An earned run in seven Ks. But Ryan Dempster comes in out of the bullpen and it causes some problems. Eric Valent pinch hitting. Minkiewicz in. Game tied at three. Bottom nine. One out. Bases loaded. David Perez trying to win it. Perez grounding, though, into the one, two, three double play. So they head to extra innings. And in the bottom of the tenth, still tied at three, Derek Lee leading off. And D. Lee gets it done. Drills the deep left center field. This ball is back toward the wall. It's got a chance. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. Derek Lee with a home run. Cubs win it 4-3 to three on Lee's 10th of the year, said Bell of D. Lee. He's simply in fuego and hitting the ball real well. First place Braves, last place Rockies, finishing up a three-game set at Coors Field. Top nine, we're tied at four, Julio Franco. All 480 years old, open single and still. Through the right side, Marcus Strauss going to score from second as Dustin Moore misplays it out there and right. Braves take a 5-4 lead. Now, bottom of the ninth, Moore going to try and make up for it. It was a simple bobble. I mean, a single would have done. Instead, he goes solo homer off Danny Culp, and we're tied at five on Moore's second of the year. Then, bases loaded, two outs. Oh, yeah, two out hits are the key to life. Todd Green off Chris Rietzma. The rookie sensation, Clint Barmas, scores. Green's third RBI of the game. Rockies win it by a count of 6-5. to five. Ten Ks entering the eighth inning. Career high, going well. Phillies leading 2-1. Lottle, Bill Hall, well, he didn't strike him out. Hit him right middle in the back. Solo shot, game tied at two. Chuck Manuel decides to leave Lottle in the game. Later in the inning, Lottle pitching to Chris Magruder. Two on, walks the bases loaded. All right, career high 11 Ks, but Ryan Madsen in the game, pitching to Ernest Jr. Spivey. Face is Chuck. Junior's due. That's down. Oh. Pat Burrell so close. Three runs will score. The Brewers go on to win it by a count of 5-2. to two. Jimmy Rollins took the collar, but he's on the Budweiser hot seat with... People all aboard the love train that is the Sports Center Express. Royals Blue Jays trail on 9-7 in the eighth. Jays explode for five runs to come back and beat the Royals 12-9 as your final. And Well, no Tony Pena, but really no change for the folks from KC. Yeah, there it got away. Indians Angels after a bit of a slow start. Indians get warmed up. They score in five consecutive innings. They blew out the Angels 9-3. Coco Chris went three for four with two runs scored. And Broussard also chips in with three hits, including a home run. Reds Padres, not even close, thanks in part to a three-run homer from Ryan Klesko. Is that Leah? San Diego cruised to a 7-2 win over the Reds, giving the Padres their eighth win in 10 game. 800 win for Bruce Bochy, their manager. Dodgers, Cardinals, Jeff Supon helping his own cause. RBI single, also pitched seven innings in his third victory of the season. 9-3, Cards win, keeping the Brewers at bay. Top plays are here at number 10, the Mavericks and the Suns, and watch Steve Nash, the league MVP, and here's why. Forget behind his back. How about behind his head? Deshaun Marion for the jam. Watch again, a great look by Nash, and the Suns loss. Number nine, White Sox double raise, Carl Crawford. Your nice sliding catch there. Watch again. They got that goofy turf down there at the trop. We got more coming from this game. Number eight, Pacers Pistons. Big Ben Wallace deals to Tayshawn Prince for the one-handed jam. We'll have more from this game for you in just a bit. Big Ben only four points in the game, but he made himself useful. Number seven, Tigers Rangers. Richard Hidalgo hits it deep to left. At the wall. 
Marcus Timms is there for the catch, and the Tigers win it by a count of 6-5. to five. Give the assist to Fred Hickman. Number six, the Pirates and the Giants. Moises a loop. Look at this sweet diving catch out there. Watch again as Moises stretches out and hauls it in. Maybe that'll help salve the 5-2 loss. There you go. Number five, Sox Devil Rays. El Duque got it. There it is. Kick save. By the way, NHL still in the lockout. That right there, toughest play in hockey. The Rays lose five. Two. Number four, Pacers Pistons. Jeff Foster saving the ball from going out of bounds and then rebounds the air ball and lays it up and in. He was tremendous from the 77 all tie and really helped him win the ball game with 20 boards. Number three, Nationals D-backs, Craig Council. Diving stop. A little flip to second. Well done. On top of that, the Dimebacks get themselves 3-2 win. And at number two, D. Lee comes through in the 10th, bailing out Ryan Dempster's blown save. High in the air. Way back. This ball will get out. It's over. D. Lee wins it. And number one, A's Red Sox, bottom nine. Everybody go Don't home deliver. with this swing. Jason swings it. The long drive down the right field line toward the pesky pole toward the corner. And this right fielder jumps. And it is gone. 